of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. All right, guys, I just received my tire for the scooter. Paid $60 for it. It's kind of expensive. But I am going to be doing a tire change on this because it is habit. It's going to be too complex removing this. So this is pretty much the exact same thing for every single motorcycle. This one, of course, is ABS. So just be careful. The bead, I think, is already broken on this. So I shouldn't have too many issues. All you really need for changing a tire is tire levers. So this is a Shinko, by the way. By the way, it's super hot here in DC, so you might see some sweat fall off, off of me. I don't particularly like doing tire changes. It's actually one of my least favorite things. There we go. And it should be coming off here. There we go. What I tend to do is, because we have to get it off of the, um, the rim, so I'll take the regular ones, and then I'll take this big one, like this. And now, I'll see if I can slide it off. So once I get it to this point, I can take a regular lever and push off to the side. our hands to push it. There we go. I think it should come off. So this tire was not holding any air and when you look at it there's like a big rip right over here so whenever you have a rip on the sidewall um, you can never use it. This is a 150, 70, 14. I believe this is a 140. Yeah, 140, so it's a little bit thinner. And I kind of prefer the thin tires. They, um, they get better gas mileage. But normally, if I was to keep the scooter, I'd definitely dark side it. Uh, dark siding is just putting a car tire on the bike. So this is done. I usually put this tire on the ground. And we're gonna get the new tire, remove everything. So one of the things I use other than the tires are is this. This is basically soap, and you could just use regular hand soap, and make sure you mix it in really well with some water on the inside. This really helps, and it helps that it's actually boiling outside and over a hundred. We'll use all sorts of stuff, and I'm actually going to clean this rim a little bit too. You need to make sure you have the right orientation for the rim. So brake levers on this side. Make sure you know where that valve is. I'm going to put this aside for now. And then on the new tire, you need to look for an arrow. And there's an arrow here that points in the direction that the bike is moving or the rotation. So it's this way. So when you mount it, you need to make sure that the rim is in the right orientation. And I usually line up my valve, which is here with there's these balancing dots here there's the or an arrow which is right over there so i have it going in the right orientation i have it all lubed up on the rim because i want this to slide in as easy as possible and we just start the process of sliding it in and it's only towards the end that it gets a little bit harder to fit the tire. Push it down. And orient it, make sure that everything is right. Arrows point in the right way. There's usually like a dot on the tire to indicate the heaviest spot for balancing. Put the stem up to it, and that's pretty much it. So at this point, we're going to 
put this side of the tire on the rim. So this is the harder part. And you're gonna use your tire levers and make sure you lube it up. But it's really a technique, just I've never really gotten into it. Dirt tires though are easier to do. So at this point, this part is gonna be much more difficult. So you have to push down on this part. I'm just gonna, this is gonna help you push the tire in. So, all right. Helps to have shoes on, not sandals. Just make sure that, I think this is gonna go in easy. This is actually the easiest uh, tire change I've done. And that's it. It's the Schrader valve. And this is the tool that you need to put it into the tire uh, stem. So the stem is right here. And what you do is you just drop it in and then you take your tool and there it's on very small um, threads and you just tighten it. The next thing is um, after you tighten it, is just to put air. And the thing is, there's um, you're gonna put a lot of air into here, and then you're gonna hear two pops. So I'm gonna turn on my compressor, I'm gonna bring it over here, and you'll see that you need a lot of air. Sometimes I found that the tires are not sitting properly, they're never inflating, and that means that you probably have to put some pressure on the tire in order for it to, um, um, inflate. I never had a maxi scooter but man the amount of work just to change a tire is insane. So I have all of this kind of tied up here so the key now that I change the tire is just to, oh there goes my exhaust and lots of other things. Yeah. This is probably one of the hardest bikes to maintain I've ever had, but the tire is on there. It looks pretty good. 